Want to introduce me and say where we are? And how do you like to be introduced? Sandra Herrick. Just Sandra Herrick? Yeah, Soul Awakenings. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Okay, action, take one. I am here with Sandra Herrick, my very dear, dear friend, and she uh, does Soul Awakenings. Um, how do you explain that first? What is it really that you do? What is your specialty? Well, I'm a metaphysician, and as a metaphysician, what I get to do is to really step into the energy of people, animals, and the species that I work with, and talk about their energy, their magnificence, their soul, the story of their soul. And it's all based on healing. Everything is based on healing. Meaning that if there is anything that needs to be brought into the light from the dark, that we will bring it there so that someone grows. It's all about morphing. It's all about transformation. And it's also about being seen, acknowledging, and recognizing that there are things to be said that animals don't know how to say. And we get to listen because they do have a language that we need to respect. So I get to go in and listen to their language so that they don't have to try to interpret it to us. They give it to us direct. Okay. okay. Awesome. So this is Callie. And Callie and I have met on the phone before. I've done it. And this chewing is beautiful. He is just activated for us, which means that he's really present. I get goosebumps and I do belch everybody. And what that means is it's not lunch. It means that Callie and I have merged energetically. And when he comes into me or any of the animals that I work with, that we expand and I have to expel that. It keeps us going. So he's going to invite me in. Let's go over. And it's interesting because the very first thing that he's doing to me is not just inviting me in. He's like taking me into this place inside him and literally, you know, this, this, um, the meeting of the heart, the meeting of the soul. And I really appreciate him because there's a place inside him that is when he said, I'm going first because I'm the original story. And that he activated your soul by him coming to you. And so him and his story, he and his story, you and your story, have been on this journey and he sees it. He sees it as this incredible place that he kept walking and walking and walking to you. And I can see him just breaking down and is walking to you. He would not stop. He would not stop until he got to you. And it didn't matter what happened to his feet. What happened is that he got to you so that he could see you and that you could remember who you are. And by re remembering who you are, this is a great shot, um, by remembering who you are, then the two of you get to do something, and he's very clear on that this is not about mounting a horse, this is not about my back, this is not about does somebody get on me and look beautiful on me, this is about who do I companion myself with, who do I, who do I stand yes, who do I stand next to, who bows with me to this some great magnificent, the mountains are very important to him. It's interesting, for him these mountains, and I see these mountains, and it's, it's what he is willing to climb in order to have other horses follow him. This is, thank you very much, he's chewing. Whenever a horse chews, they download, they say yes, and they integrate what's going on. So he's giving us a lot of information. This is really incredible, here's my close up. <laughs> and this is, you know, anybody seeing this right now, look right into his eyes because he's telling you, I'm looking at you. I'm going to see you. See yourself in me. Bring yourself to that walk that you need to take to get to be who you are. And it's interesting because there's a beauty inside him, and it's definitely in his hips, where whatever it is that he leans back into, he is a stubborn boy. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> But he is, he's stubborn, but he's stubborn for a cause, not because he has attitude and says no. He's stubborn because there's a place inside him that knows better about something. And he will not move until you are clear where you are moving with him. So he is literally on point with you in that if we're going to do something, we have to do it together. And it's interesting, he knows where you want him to go, and then he actually waits for you to catch up to where he knows you're going to go together. <laughs> so because he knows that you get frustrated in teaching him, and he really wants to kind of like, 
Uh, he is. He's kind of chuckling with you right now. But he sees the picture, and then once he really gets the picture, he has this incredible patience with you recalibrating and re coming back into where was I going originally? Oh, there we are. And then the relief and the joy. He loves the celebration with you. You are very good at celebrating rewards. And he, he is, it's like, he, he, he thinks you're really cute. This is really funny. <laughs> And he actually, and everybody in the bar, and I want you to hear this, he doesn't mind frustrating her on occasion because he really thinks it's funny to watch you get upset. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, That's sorry. True. Sorry, but he does. He has a sense of humor. And his sense of humor is really a powerful thing because he also knows that there are things that, he looks at us as, as humans and really it's like, why haven't we figured this stuff out yet? You know, who's bringing who to the water? who's bringing who to the mountain. And so he is not just carrying you and walking with you and being with you, he has the sight that's showing you the sight mm -hmm. of where it's all going. So he's your lead stallion. He's, you know, it's, there's no exaggeration. He knows how to get whatever it is that you're going for and he's on target with it. This walking though, this walking is very important because this is gonna be a journey, he says. And it's a journey that is, um, it's, I, I want to say to him, it's been lifetimes getting here. That's why the two of you have known each other over and over and over again. And in this lifetime, when he asks me to tell you about the lifetime, this is really one of those humble moments where he knows, and this is why his heart was so happy to see you, and his legs are so, the two of you died in the desert together, and you died first, and he did not leave. Mm -hmm. So there's that promise you have made to each other. And he's um, very clear that the promise is a eternity mm -hmm. in its commitment. Not just, I'll see you next life, baby. This is an eternal, um, he's more than your companion. Mm -hmm. He is, you know, and I, I would say in the slang of he's your soulmate, it's more than that. It's more than that. There is this place where what the two of you are not just doing for other people and other horses, but will be doing is what not just consumes your life, but expands your life. So the pressure of all this is worth the fountain that's gonna come up when it's all released. And it's interesting because there are times when he moves and he does, he looks like water just bursting. Mm -hmm. And I wanna say that, because to him, he doesn't mind being a, a, a desert horse, horse, but he loves water. So wherever he is with water, there's going to have to be water in your logo or in what you do, because there's this, pla this place of spirit. And he sees, it's interesting, this is a message for John. John's the water carrier. It's like whoever's bringing the water, whoever's really bringing that, that slurp, there's a place of put the blessings in the water, put the goodwill in the water. So that when they drink and when they really bring that nourishment in, that it's connecting everybody. So it's not just the land, it's the water. It's interesting that we're having such a water problem in, in you know, California, California at the moment. But it's the way that you serve everybody water that will make your herd your herd and bring healing. So he's actually saying put the blessings in the water. So everybody's getting the same energy. He's definitely very intrigued with you, Chuck. He's being very sweet. He is asking, what do you want to know? What is it that you need to know about this great bond? His aura, first I want to go to his aura. His, he, he has a magnificent aura. And for anybody that needs to know what an aura is, it's an energy field that literally vibrates and represents the total sum of what the interior of this horse is. And it magnifies outside. And some people see them, some people don't. But we do have that charismatic energy that when we see someone with that charisma, you can't not not see it. So it's in their smile, it's in their personality, it's in their, um, their DNA of a soul. He has that charisma. So his charisma could not be seen where he was ever, and how he was seen ab about what they wanted him to do versus what he's meant to do is the keeping the promise to you. And it doesn't matter that he came broken. It's what it is inside him that will fix everything else, mm -hmm. okay? His wounds needed to be honest. 
That's what he says. It's interesting. His wounds needed to be honest. And so that everything here, I'm getting the goosebumps now. Um, so all horses that come here, this is brilliant, Callie. He needed to be wounded so that when all the horses come here and see him, they do not feel less than. Mm -hmm. They see him as we all carry these wounds. We will all heal. Mm -hmm. We will all find our way. Welcome home. Thank you. Welcome home. <laughs> so this, this aura that he has, he's very modest about it, even though it's very big. And it's beautiful because he has such respect for anything that comes onto this property that says, who am I? <coughs> he reminds anyone that has been bounced out of their being mm -hmm. what it means to be a horse. And he calls them back. So he is a, uh, he's, he's <laughs> licking the camera. <laughs> You know, that's a close-up if I ever saw one. <laughs> so he's very, um, his intelligence is quite impeccable. His sensitivity is quite impeccable. And he has a destiny that because of you, he gets to fulfill. And he brings you this destiny to honor yours. So in totality, what is that? Where If he sees where we're going, then... Out the door. Out the door. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> so, so that's a very that's a very profound question because in his eyes he sees you constantly walking toward the mountain. He sees you walking out of something that is cryptic. He sees you as uh, following. He sees things that are following you. Um, are you asking about will you be successful, will you be um, famous, or will you, you know, be taken care of? He's turning around and goes, just keep walking. Because he doesn't see it like that. He sees it as the herd keeps gathering and gathering, and he sees that there are people waiting for you that you're bringing the herds to. So there's, there, there's going to be a balance as you 